This presentation is an extremely short introduction to visual encodings. I will begin with a short definition I have taken from Tamara Monsner's book on visualization analysis and design. Computer-based visualization systems provide visual representations of datasets designed to help people carry out tasks more effectively. This definition contains two concepts that are relevant to this presentation. The first is the idea of visual representations, such as points, lines, squares, or circles. And the second one has to do with datasets, the objects that contain our data. So let's begin with these ones. Three basic types of datasets are a spatial or a geometry, which deal with items that are located in specific positions, relational or networks, which often describe the relations between different objects, and tables that are normally made up of rows and columns and describe items as a set of attributes. Tabular data can be further classified into categorical and ordered data. Items of a category do not have an implicit ordering, but when two items belong to the same category, we know that they are the same thing. Examples of categories are fruits, animals, or cars. Ordered data can be of two types, ordinal or quantitative. Ordinal data has a well-defined ordering, but does not allow for full-fledged array method. For example, regarding t-shirt sizes, we know that medium falls between small and large. However, large minus medium is not a meaningful concept. The same happens with heights when using just the words tall and short. On the other hand, quantitative data support arithmetic comparisons. For example, the quantity of 9 inches minus 5 inches is a meaningful concept and the answer of 4 inches can be calculated. Let's now talk about visual representations. Here are a few visualizations you might be familiar with. Each of these are composed by visual representations that we call marks, the building blocks of any visualization. For example, the scatter plot of the left is composed by a set of points, the bubble chart is made of circles, and the bar chart is composed by rectangles. All the other visualizations are built by other types of marks, such as lines, circular sectors, rectangles, or points with specific shapes. Marks are important because we use their properties to communicate or encode specific attributes of our dataset. For example, scatter plots locate points around a specific reference system using points horizontal and vertical positions. Bubble charts encode information in the area or the radio of their circles and bar charts use the heights of the rectangles. Other properties we can use are angles or thickness, width or shape. So in summary, marks are the geometric primitives that compose a visualization and can be points, lines, areas or even volumes. We use the visual properties of marks to control their appearance, such as position, color, tilt, size, shape and others. One important thing to notice is that there are visual properties that are best suited to encode specific types of data. For example, among others, positions, lengths, and tilts are better to encode ordered data, while a special region, color, hue, motion, and shape are better to encode categorical data. Finally, here are some visualization examples. Can you identify which marks each is using? What about their visual properties? 